big news today. You can make consistent characters with your own face super easily with the new Meta AI release. All you have to do is go to your Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Click this button, type in Imagine Me, and you'll be prompted with a Get Started button. By clicking on that, you're going to train your face and then it becomes magical. You can see here I'm typing in Imagine Me walking in an astronaut suit in a tropical jungle close up retro style. And this is using the latest version of the llama model. You can see these images are spectacular. Here's another one. Imagine me as a movie star on the red carpet with camera flashes all around me. Honestly, these results are incredible. I'm loving the quality and precision. The big news this week is Llama 3.1 is out and this is huge for many reasons. The new open source AI model you can fine tune, distill, and deploy anywhere. This video on Twitter showcases the new model Llama 3.1 running on Grok which is a novel method to run large language models more in real time. This example is incredible and a look into the future of real-time AI. Hi, can you create me a one-day itinerary for a trip to Toronto? That's a little complicated. Can you tabularize it for me? Meta has released three new models, but the 8B version is lightweight, an ultra-fast model you can run anywhere. This is an exciting advancement because running these AI models natively on your phone means all your data is private. The model is yours. The AI community is giving Llama 3.1 massive praise right now. This release is groundbreaking. The models appear to be comparable to GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 with high-grade performance. Even Elon Musk said it's impressive, and Zuck deserves credit for open sourcing. On this website, you can see various leaderboards for different aspects of large language models. In the number one position for coding is Claude, but for instruction following, Llama 3.1 takes the win. If you want to run Llama 3.1 locally on your machine, this is the best website I've found that helps you do so without needing to know how to program. I'll put all the links down below. In other news, Stability AI is coming out with text to audio models. Stability AI, another open source platform, will let you run this locally on your computer. Eleven Labs has already released this feature, but they are a closed source, privatized company. Here's an example. Sound of rain hitting the roof. It's pretty good, but here's an example of Stability AI's open source model with the same prompt. Soon, we will live in a world where every sound you need for video is at your fingertips. Elon Musk has fired up the most powerful AI cluster in the world to create the world's most powerful AI by December. This system uses 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Musk explains that the new supercluster will train the world's most powerful AI by every metric. The world's most powerful supercomputers, such as Frontier, have only 37,000 GPUs. Aurora has 60,000 Intel GPUs, and Microsoft Eagle has 14,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Elon Musk is planning to utilize 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs to train his AI model, Grok. OpenAI has now just launched SearchGPT, its AI-powered search engine, in competition with Google and Perplexity AI. If you wanna get on the wait list, I've provided that link down below. I never would have dreamed Google would have competition in the search industry. In other OpenAI news, OpenAI is set to make GPT 4.0's advanced voice available by the end of the month to a select group of users. This makes GPT 4.0 both faster and significantly more accurate when acting as a voice assistant, even allowing it to pick up tone and vocal intonations during a conversation. Udio, the AI music generator, got a massive update this week, including improved audio quality, key control, improved global language results, a dedicated creation page, stem downloads, audio to audio remixing, and shareable lyrics. Just to hear the quality difference, this is version one. Wake up, lady.
breaking it's news to start. I might seem grown up, but I'm slacking at heart. And this is the new 1.5 model. It is a huge improvement in quality. This is also a really fun example of being able to mix and match different styles within one song. You can change the key and improve language support. One of the coolest things is when you click on a song you've created, you can download it and click Stems. This will create separate vocal, drum, and bass stems. Here's an example of a bass stem. This was a highly requested feature for Udio to include, and now we have it. Kling AI is now publicly available to everyone, and this is a Sora competitor. If you click on the videos here, you can see that the videos are quite incredible. For instance, you can see this person pouring milk into a glass. The milk does start to go up before the pouring happens, but this is really good. There are also very realistic images, like a model's hair blowing in the wind. This tool is available for everyone to try right now. I found an account offering really cool examples of image to video tools. These examples are awesome. I'll leave all the links down below. In other news, there are also updates on creating 3D models with AI and being able to animate them using Meshi AI. This tool lets you create 3D models from an image or a prompt and then animate them by clicking here. AI animation is getting so easy now. This YouTuber I enjoy has showed an example of sketching a drawing and turning it into an AI image, then creating a different scene behind and putting both images in Luma Labs as a start and ending point. It creates this incredible scene with camera movement. And it's tools like Luma Labs that are making it extremely easy to achieve stunning results. Runway ML Gen 3 has also been in the news with incredible examples of people writing words in their AI videos. I had to give this a try myself. Using a simple text prompt, I was able to create this video. Mr. Beast has released a tool for YouTubers, which I think is incredible. This tool allows you to find thumbnails based on AI by describing the thumbnail you want. You can type in basketball with holes in it, and it will give you various thumbnails. More importantly, you can search by thumbnail to see different variations of it and choose the best one for your video. It's not about recreating the wheel, it's about finding inspiration and making it a little better. This tool does it all. Again, I'll leave all the links down below. If you want free guides, we have a newsletter that breaks down all the information into simple tutorials. This is where we'll do most of our AI tutorials for upcoming news. If you're interested in learning and growing with us, we have a community of over 700 people right now, all learning AI together. It's an amazing place to learn, be inspired, and innovate. We believe that at the AI Surfer, everything you need is in the description, and I'll see you again next Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This will be our time to start our week together with the latest AI news. All right, Surfer, see you next week. Peace.